Okay, I'm starting to get really hungry, but I really want to knock out these two final videos before I'm done for the day. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to bother connecting to this. Um, so my camera is actually covering it, but according to this, this will launch in, in two days. Uh, first thing I want to do is, I mean, this is very new, so I don't know, uh, I don't know if this is showing up. Yeah. Most people don't know that uh, Tomb Fork Watch is now covering baked beans, but word will spread very quickly. So this is actually a really good way to make money, uh, just getting the advertising. It's just just have a list of all the projects that are coming out. So that's kind of interesting. You know, I could actually hire someone maybe to do this, and then, I don't know, it'd just be expensive. Also, yeah, for now, I'm, I'm satisfied just making money. Right, money making more money, hopefully. Right. All right. So Murdoch DeFi actually indicated on his YouTube video that he's getting paid to promote this project. So, uh, so that's actually interesting. So that could actually be uh, in case technically you're supposed to do that because it's actually a legal thing here in America. All right. I assume it's like that everywhere else too, like in Europe and whatever, like paid promotions. And you know, but I always just assume everyone's getting paid to show these videos anyway. But so let's see, what is this project? It's a BNB reward pool with the tastiest. Da, 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 da. Okay, so your daily APR is nine percent. When you deposit, they take six percent. The cut fee is two percent. So I think this thing is saying that the withdrawal fee might be two percent, which is actually a problem. At least they have a Twitter. Uh, okay, launches to two days, yeah, blah, 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 all right, whatever. All right, well, the good news is they already paid for marketing because, you know, they paid Murdoch DeFi to make a project. And, of course, you got me. If this fucking thing would load. Oh, God. Now it's just lagging. Okay, so a 14% referral bonus. So it's good for all of you. Uh, here's the contract address of tree plantation. Okay, so here are the tax and fees. When you buy, the devs take 6%, uh, plus you pay the gas. When you compound, no taxes, of course. When you, okay, this is actually a real problem. When you sell, it's only 2%. Over 24 hours, up to 9%, no restrictions, da da da, highest amount, blah, 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 okay, whatever. TBL fluctuation affects daily ROI. Yes, we've I already figured that out. New investors are beneficial because yes, this is basically a Ponzi scheme, but we, we all know that, <laughs> right? Average is between six to eight percent daily ROI. It's actually lower than that. The minor daily ROI is up to nine percent. Referrals can cause higher daily ROI of nine percent. Excuse me. You cannot increase daily ROI by rebaking many times over 24 hours. So the one thing I already like about this project, unlike the last one, which is Rocket IRO, is these guys are actually upfront about everything. And they made it very clear. They just tell you upfront what's going on. And they even talk about how specifically the technical mechanics behind, you know, why your ROI is fluctuating. I actually like that a lot because you need to be, it's like, it's, it's in sales and marketing. I actually know a lot about that because that's what I used to do before this shit. Right. The more specific you are, where it sounds like, yes, you know what you're talking about, but it's very specific. Then you know that this person probably is telling you the truth. If someone tells you they're a doctor, if they start talking about radiological examinations, tumors and like stethoscopes and like all the tools of being a real doctor to detect, like, say, cancer, then you're probably talking to someone who is actually a cancer doctor. Right. And they talk about mammograms and like patients and all that stuff like He's, you know, it's actually common sense, but if someone's bullshitting you, they're not going to be able to talk, they're not going to actually be able to be, talk about that stuff. They wouldn't even, they would have a hard time also mentioning details, right? Like specific details specific to that trade profession. How do you know I'm a cryptocurrency person, right? Because I talk about all sorts of like fucking different shit that only another cryptocurrency person uh, what no, right? But let's say you just met me and you didn't know who I was, and then I was actually, and I tell you, hey, I'm a crypto guy, but I don't actually know that much. But then I just kind of like fumble around, right? Then you're like, hey, I think this guy is full of shit. So same thing here. So here, I really like that they're very transparent. So that's very good for this project. Uh, let's see. I mean, I already have like a million of these projects out there, but 
this actually looks okay. I'm still not thrilled about this because this is going to eventually kill the uh, project. All right, it's going to really drain the contract. But at least the developer is taking 6% on all deposits. So that's something to work with. Here's a referral bonus. Yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, we have an already contract. Yep, small community, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see. Earn up to 9%. Uh, we checked that out. What is the price of the tree? No set price for trees. Why are my rewards not growing? D uh, that's a typo. Don't, donut, don't. It's not even, it's like a misspelled version of don't and donut. Will not change if you make a new plan. Are you planning a creature? Blah, 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 yeah. Uh, you cut too much. Best strategy. Of course, it's stupid. Six to eight. It will compound your investment. You receive your initial back after six to eight weeks. Yeah, fuck that. All right, I'm getting my I'm getting my money back after thirty days. All right, uh, and some of the minor projects that I'm in, I'm definitely not going to get my money back. So I take a loss. Uh, but that being said, I think as long as the contract has some kind of minimum amount, I think I could. I mean, I'll still keep extracting, of course, but. Kind of the meal ball if I can be chain or all or anything we should yeah well, well can the contract functions be added no uh miners tree uh okay so they are also displaying the amount per hour um well I don't see it here. I don't see it here, but this, yeah, I mean, the site's technically not launched yet, so, and also, I didn't connect my, I guess I'll connect my wallet, I mean, I think these guys are probably legit. Oh, great, oh, there's nothing in here, damn, alright, well, according to this, they'll probably add this functionality later, so this is really nice. That's one reason why I actually like BNB chairs, because they tell you what is your actual reward, alright? Uh, estimates, blah, 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 I don't care. Uh, you gotta trade your amount? No, you look at the BME ideally, yeah, TL, getting more people buying treat, yeah, blah, 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 okay. Our referrals work, don't care. Just increase it, what's my, just increase your minor compound. Yeah, I mean, you really should compound if you really want to maximize it, but you know me. I do this stuff for a living, obviously, so I can figure this shit out. I'm not gonna, I'll comp I like the idea of compounding, but because there's constant downward pressure on your, the like, amount of money you can withdraw every day, in fact, every hour on these minor projects. There's a very little incentive to compound. Like, compounding maybe like a little bit, and then like, so for example, you compound like four hours worth out of 24 hours. So what is that, one divided by six? Whatever that, whatever that percentage slash fraction comes out to be, and then for 20 hours, you pull profit afterwards. Like, you can do something like that. In my case, I don't really give a shit. I just, I just withdraw, and then I, if I feel like compounding, then I'll think about it later, right? Because I, I'm drawing so much profit every day that I can shift money around and then just simply reinvest into a minor project. That's why I'm actually experimenting again, like I said in the last video, with BNB minor finance. Because I think that's the only minor project that I'm in where my withdrawal, my withdrawals have been consistent over time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment with that. Plus, they actually tell me, hey, what's your total value, right? I just need something to work with. Either how much money am I making per day or what's the total value of whatever I originally invested in. And, and I can figure out things from there. And then I I actually should record the price of a miner on BNB Finance. But I mean, I mean, I can kind of tell if it goes up or down in value. So, And over time, yeah, the value has to go down because more people keep coming in. More people are going to obviously withdraw. That's just how it works. Uh, depending on the price of the tree and the way its growth is down, but yes, that's my problem. Uh, do I have my regular lower when I cut every day? By kind of pushing, push or push Oh, okay, so this is interesting. Do my rewards get lower when I cut every day? It depends on the price of tree and the way, this is the, like, this is the miners, trees, and the way its growth is down, but yes, that's the most profitable, probable scenario. By cutting, you are pu pushing the price of tree down and not compounding, you might fall in the case described in my... Rewards grow when TVL grows. Uh, if you notice your money rate in Korea, that's what miners notice. Yeah, I always kind of wonder about that, but yeah, you when you buy miners, you automatically compound everything in uh, from your reward pool, so your money just doesn't disappear. Your rewards, that is, uh, track referrals. Don't care. Uh, if I don't cut, I say my. Uh, I say. 
It's better if you also compile. Uh, yeah, that's one of the. Uh, that was how you create stream. Uh, we can't put everybody also compile. But uh, if I cut to our my art for yesterday, that's yes. I'll let you push the creature down. And the art user are creating mining right while you are not. Yeah, like I said, all this basically is is your percentage share of the reward pools every day goes down. Like that's just guaranteed to happen. So just get used to it. It's just like Titano and Sphere, right? And forks of that stuff. Your percentage is always the same, unless you buy more of it. But if you're selling, then over time, your percentage of the liquidity pool of all the tokens in in the universe, right, in the galaxy, and on Earth, whatever, your percentage share of all the tokens goes down because you're selling. I mean, it's just simple math. Just so it sounds complicated, but it's really not. So the daily return uh, decreases. Not, uh, Jesus Christ, I don't. How much more is this? I really don't feel like reading any more of this, but that's a good sign because these guys. I will say that even though I probably will not invest in this project, I might if I need if I really need a BNB miner replacement. I just I like I like how transparent these guys and how specific they are. So, TVL decreases. It likely happen that your war value in BNB will increase too. You probably might solve that. If price going down. You get a little, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Basically, everything goes down. That's all you have to know. Everything will just go down no matter what you do. We do not guarantee nine percent a day. It is up to nine percent. Yeah, this would have been this would have been really helpful if, when I first started. Tree plantation legal in certain country. Please consider when this when investing. Oh yeah, no one gives a shit if it's legal or not. Everything's illegal, but people do it anyway. It's illegal to jaywalk in here in New York City. You know what jaywalking means? It's there's a there's obviously traffic lights and a walk and don't walk sign. I'm sure it's like that everywhere. Jaywalking is when it says do not walk, but you walk anyway. That's called jaywalking. It's totally illegal. But I do it anyway. So do other people. <laughs> so whatever. Nobody gives a shit. I mean, the FBI, I even called up the FBI one time for financial scam, and they just told me to politely, hey, we can't do shit. Sorry, goodbye. She was a really nice lady. She was black, I think. And I called the FBI New York field office. They have an FBI, they call it field offices here. They think of it as like franchises or head, all right? So the FBI has a shop here in New York City. It's a big one, obviously, because it's New York City. So I called up the New York field office for, F for the FBI. I talked with a nice, probably black lady. And she's like, yeah, we can't do anything. Sorry, sir. And then, you know, we talked about like, what does the FBI actually do? Where do their resources go? It's towards actual serial killers, uh, mass murderers, terrorists, uh, kidnapping especially. They seem to work kidnapping cases a lot too. So they don't have time. And they just and she simply told me there's just too many financial scams out there. They they're not gonna they can't do anything, right? So, and this was m many years ago, like 10, 12. I don't know. I was, I was this was before. This was probably before I knew much about crypto, if at all. So. That's a long time ago, man. Ah, <sighs> but yeah, but um, but yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about it. Plus, you can just use a VPN if it's really that big of a deal. So, whatever. anyway, check out treeplantation.com. Note that there's a hyphen here. All right, of course, I'll make sure that's obviously because I just copy and paste the link for the YouTube description. If I were desperate for a Bi uh, a Binance coin miner, I would do this because right now I have just too many minor projects are going. I would probably be okay with this. Like, I like the people running this. So far, from what I can tell, it's just solely on their white paper, right? They sound like they know what they're talking about. They're upfront and honest about everything. They talk a lot about why the TVL and your rewards, daily rewards go down. I like that a lot, you know, because right now I'm much more paranoid about scams and rump pulls. So, you know, right now I'm more focused on that until, like, this current wave of scammers, you know, does its thing, right? Because, again... Tsunami drip fork has already rug pulled. Universe fork has well, universe itself has rug pulled. What a surprise! Um, I don't know, whatever. Ah, so anyway, again, I don't like that the withdrawal fee is gap is seven percent. That's like all these things matter, right? But I mean, I don't know why he said it so that it would encourage people to withdraw so much. That's the only. That's the really big problem. But whatever. I mean, I'm not planning to invest in this just yet. So if if at all, especially now that we have X Y C website now covering big bean projects. So whatever. All right. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be called Cami Protocol.
I saw this on the Murdoch DeFi uh, YouTube thingy. So that's a, I'm going to call it a Sphere 4. Yeah, it's a Sphere Titano 4. So, right, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you to all new people that are subscribing. We are taking off, so thank you all. Thank you, both new and re uh, returning viewers. So hopefully you'll find these projects helpful. And again, leave comments below. I like, I don't, I don't actually, I don't actually, I don't have really that much time to respond to comments unless I feel I really need to. And at some point, I probably just won't. Yeah, right. But just, just write comments because other people read it and and they're, and they're obviously helpful. Because I didn't know that Tsunami uh, Drip Fork Scam rug pulled until I started reading comments. And then I just picked, and then I pinned the, I don't remember your name, but I pinned the one that didn't sound like a disrespectful asshole. Which is why I didn't pin the first person that said rug pulled. Because he was like, LOL, it, it rug pulled. It's like, yeah, I get that it rug pulled, but I don't know. Like, some people might have lost their money on it, so let's just try to be a little nicer. Just a little. Oh, so now that I explain it, yeah, I thought he was being disrespectful maybe towards me, but I realized he was just laughing at the situation. Yeah, it is kind of funny that it did rug pull. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. You know, just safer than sorry, but whatever. Let's make Judson kind of thing in 5, 10, 15 years. We gotta really grow this channel. I mean, even if I had, like, a million subscribers, I'm sure only, like, 50 of you would show up. Yeah, oh, actually, it'll be way more than that, but I don't know. We'll see. You know, I'm very excited to see what happens with the Twitter being bought out by Elon Musk. Things are going to be uh, so much better now, right, Un until they assassinate Elon, of course, right, because at this point, that's the only way they can stop him, and that, that's, like, we're going to have a, we're gonna have serious problems if they, do, if they do something like that, right? They won't even assassinate, you know, people on the right wing. Right, they they wouldn't even dare to do that. So if they take out Elon, like literally take him out. I mean, just forget about it. So, right? It's, it's, I mean, I tell you that nobody wants to buy Twitter anyway. Like Twitter loses money. Everyone hates it. So yeah, and Twitter being public is just was has always been a bad bad thing. So everyone's pissed. Everyone's losing money, especially after today, right? Because markets are doing shit. And people need to blame someone. And on top of that, you know, uh, Twitter, if they were to actually refuse it, that's actually illegal, right? You can actually, and I know other YouTubers talk about it. If Twitter refuses the Elon Musk deal, they actually violate the SEC law of fiduciary responsibility, which means your job is to make your investors and shareholders a lot of effing money, all right? At minimum, do not make them lose money, all right? At least not willfully. And that's what Twitter would be doing. They would willfully be losing money. That's illegal, all right? Even the SEC has to, like, you know, back off on that. It's like, oh, shit, you know, we're, we're the SEC. Our whole point is to protect the investors. So why are we making investors lose money, all right? Now, we're, now our credibility is on the line. All right, Twitter, just sell to Elon Musk, whatever. Just stop bothering us. And there you go, you know? Twitter is going to be owned by Elon Musk. I'm so happy. There's a lot, and also I, a lot of evil people I don't like are spamming the replies on my Twitter. Not spamming, but it's like a couple people because I'm shadow banned on Twitter. All right, and they keep taking away my followers, by the way. Now I'm down to 30,500. <sighs> my way down to below 30K. And yeah, I forgot what my thought was. I don't know, whatever. Everything's going to be good, so I just got to wait, all right? So, whatever, I'm, I'm chilling, I'm enjoying, I don't know when this fear and FUD shit going on in the market is going to end, but, I mean, honestly, like I said uh, last week, right, the Federal Reserve doesn't announce their stupid shit until May 4th, so that's two Wednesdays from now, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday, at around 1.32 p.m. I mean, they obviously, that's generally when they do it, so, you know, but whatever, we're going to go live, I... Funny enough, I now always go live on, on Federal Reserve days because obviously that's when the markets move. So it's going to probably be like the shit markets for a while. If things keep going down the stock markets more and more, then I expect some kind of bounce back, right? And then, you know, we'll see. Like Everyone's just randomly like scared and fearful and whatever and hateful and angry. That's just how it goes. All right, I've rambled on enough. See you next video. Cami Protocol, Titanosphere Fork. Yep. Uh, but yeah, but anyway, check out the tree plantation and launches in two days, right? Run from this video recording. So yeah, 12 o'clock noon, April 
27th, New York City time. So 12 noon, New York City time. This Wednesday is when Tree Plantation launches. I just did the math in my head because obviously my camera's covering the clock on the upper right hand. Show you this thing over here. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't plan on investing in this project, but I do like the, I do like, so far from what I can see, I do like their devs. Like, um, they seem like stand-up people and they had money to pay Murdoch DeFi to cover this project. So yeah, see you next video. Thanks for watching.